you should watch this video if somebody you know or yourself have been diagnosed with multiple myeloma your treatment has finished and your doctor has recommended a bone marrow transplant or an autograft for multiple myeloma myeloma transplants are considered standard treatment uh, for myeloma treatment after your induction therapy has finished the transplant is called an autograft because the patient themselves are the donors and we don't need an external donor for this procedure to be performed simply put we uh, stimulate the stem cells of the patient uh, to trick the stem cells to come into the peripheral blood and we pick these stem cells after putting a line in and putting the blood through a machine called an apheresis machine so that the stem cells are captured in a little bag and then stored these stem cells are very important to restart the bone marrow once we give chemotherapy for multiple myeloma which also destroys the bone marrow of the existing bone marrow of the patients so the procedure starts with the administration of growth factor to the patients and typically we give 4 to 5 days of growth factor which results in the stem cells to come into the peripheral blood after this we put a line in one of the major veins usually the groin vein of the patients uh, which extracts the stem cells uh, from a machine called a ferrisis machine and stores them uh, into a little bag after this process is confirmed and we've confirmed that we've got enough stem cells to restart the bone marrow uh, we give patients a drug called melphalan which is very good to eradicate the bone marrow of any existing myeloma or any remaining myeloma after the treatment the melphalan is a good drug to clear the bone marrow of the plasma cells or the myeloma cells but they also clear the normal bone marrow resulting in a state where uh, the bone marrow uh, cannot recover on its own now to prevent this from happening uh, we reinfuse the stem cells that we had stored in the past Uh, and these stem cells are given like a blood transfusion once these stem cells are transfused they eventually find their way into the bone marrow and start producing blood again but this whole process can take up to 2 to 3 weeks and during these 2 to 3 weeks the patient has side effects a because of the melphalan that was infused and b because uh, the stem cells or the the patient is neutropenic and has very low immunity during this time the patient may also need blood or platelet transfusions and may have infections uh, which may need antibiotics or antifungals to treat these infections for this reason uh, the patient is kept uh, in hospital in special conditions for 3 to 4 weeks the special conditions uh, are in a bone marrow transplant unit uh, where the footfall is minimum and the air is specially treated to make sure that the patient is exposed to minimal infection uh, in terms of bacterial or fungal infections they are given special neutropenic diet to prevent infection from coming through the through the food uh, and they are given medicines and transfusions as required during this time the major complications that we expect from myeloma tran- type of transplant are Uh, number one mucositis which means um, the inner lining of the mouth uh, or our intestines is stripped off uh, because of the melphalan uh, and it causes a, a problem with pain in the throat uh, can cause pain abdomen and cause loose motions so while the patient is in hospital they are given medication to prevent this mucositis and if it develops to treat it the other complication that can happen is infections uh, which again the patient is monitored for fever and if needed they're given antibiotics and antifungals usually the patient will recover in 3 to 4 weeks and their counts will come back to normal and once that happens they are discharged tiredness and weakness which are the other side effects of melphalan infusion can remain for a few weeks and can remain even after discharge now the very fact that the patient has been discharged from the hospital after 3 to 4 weeks uh, doesn't mean that they can go out in the community because their immunity will still be low 
The total recovery time for a bone marrow transplant from myelo for myeloma uh, takes about three months and usually the patients are given prophylactic antivirals and antifungals for up to three months. So after a time period of three months has passed and the patients are feeling better, they can usually return to work uh, and start to resume their normal lives.